Hi everyone. So today we're going to discuss about how to enable cross validation rules. See how to enable cross validation rules in Oracle Fusion General Ledger module. So type of controls. There are two type of controls are there in the place. The first one is that segment validation and secondly cross segment validation. The first one controls the values you can enter for a particular segments. And second one, cross segment validation controls the combination of values that, that administrators and end user can create for key flexible fields. Yeah, functionality, as I mentioned, cross validation rules. In the short form, we can call CVR rules. So what is the meaning and how it is working in the application? The cross validation rules across segments to control the creation of key flexible field code combinations in the application. These rules enforce whether a value of a particular segment can be combined with the specific values of other segments to form a new combination or not. So this is how like, you know, we can restrict the code combinations in between of the chart of accounts. It will allow or it will not allow based on the, the crash validation rules which we enabled in the application under the chart of accounts. This is the one of the good functionality for business users where they can restrict, do not pass the unwanted any journals in the production during day and day, day I mean to say day and day activities. What are the prerequisites needed? Firstly, we need to identify which segments you want to restrict through the cross validation rules. Then setups. So go to setup and maintenance and select functional area as financial report structures. Task name is main is cross validation rules. And here is the business use case. So what is the business use case? Apply or create or define cross validation rules for a cost center. The current chart of accounts is ES chart of account, which we are using the demo instance and number of segments are, we have six. So create cross validation rule for the cost center. The, as I mentioned, business use case is that if my natural accounts are in between 11,001 to 11,005. Then, <laughs> then the cost center should not be used as 110. This is my business use case. So let's get into application, how to achieve or how to define this requirement in the application. Go to setup and maintenance. Under the functional area, select financial reporting structures. Click all tasks. Look for main is cross validation to cross validation rules here as a task name. This is the page where we can define a <coughs> create CVR rules. Search for our chart of account, ES chart of account structures. Click on search. I see there are a couple of test cases already. I will say CVR rules already defined. So we can create our own CVR rules by clicking on plus icon. Cross center. When and my natural accounts between 0, 05 to 0, 05. Then the cost center is 
could not be used. Not be used. One one zero. Okay, this is the my description, and likewise, the down you can see details condition filters. This is the where we can create our conditions. We can add the accounts. Here you can see chart of account segments. Under the chart of account, yes, chart of account structures, we do have six segments which we already defined. In this place, I am going to restrict my accounts. Take it. here account is either this is the conditional parameters we have. You can choose it. Here I want to go for between because I do have the multiple things, right? So I can choose accordingly 1101 and 1105. So this is the my condition. And the validation. How, how I am going to do this validation for this one? Just click on validation filters. Select cost center. Here, condition has said that when I use my this particular segments from, from to here, right? Then cost center is the I am going to restrict in here. Cost center is you can select from the list of values 110. Save okay and say okay and give your error message here. It says that this code combination code combination cannot be created. This is my error message. Save. Yeah, it got saved. Okay. And enable it. This is most important to enable it. And I can save it. So now I, now I created chart of uh, I mean to say cross validation rules. So let's click on done. Log out and log in again. Log in. <coughs> Go to journals under the GL model. Journals. Try to create one journal entry by using the same code combination, which we have restricted through severe rules. Create journals. You can give some kind of random things, test entry. Test December. And print the same. And remaining everything is same. We will be giving the only uh, mandatory things. Set years primary ledger. Category or nothing but as adjustments. Come down. Here you can choose segments or code combination or CCID combination. Now here you can see account. When I select my account as triple one zero one, if I go and select my cost center value one one zero. Once you select it, just click on save. Okay. See, this cursor is not moving at all. Cursor is not moving at all. If you go and click on again, it is not moving at all because the system is not trying to derive the code combination, what we have given here. The reason being because we have given the cross validation rules. When I select my account, triple one zero one, then I should not use my cursor center as double one zero that's what i have given the condition over there right if you want to see the error message what i have given just scroll up here you can see that here you can see that so here to 
two C variables got enabled here. One is previously where somebody is created and mine also it is getting controlling over here. Right. So this is how we can create a class simulation rules by specifically which segment you want to restrict it to pass the general address by the endorsers. Yeah. Thanks for watching my video. Please do subscribe to get more videos from my side. Thank you.